Good morning. I'm uh, Dr. Hogg. I'm the Hospital Clinical Director at Dr. Gray's, and uh, I'm here with Jill Valentine and Mustafa um, and Ali, who will introduce, introduce themselves in a minute, to give you a bit of an update about what's happening a, around the maternity service uh, and some nice developments that are going on there. Jill, would you mind introducing yourself? Hello, I'm sure some of you do know me, but I'm Jill Valentine and I'm the Clinical Midwifery Manager for Maternity Services in Murray. Thanks, Jill. And uh, Dr. Ali, could you just introduce yourself? Hi, uh, I'm Mustafa Ali. I'm a consultant, obstetrician and gynecologist at Dr. Grace Hospital. I'm sure uh, a lot of you know me. Um, Thanks very much, and thank you for joining me today. Um, there's a few questions that I that I have around the service, um, and the first one, really for you, Jill, is um, the current refurbishment in Ward Three. Could you tell us a bit about that? Yes, this is a really exciting time for us locally here on Ward Three. Um, we're having all four of our labour rooms uh, refurbished. Each room will have its own ensuite and one of the rooms will have a lovely big birthing pool in it. So it'll be a fantastic facility for our local women to use. We're currently uh, refurbishing two rooms at a time so that we can offer all the services, uh, continue to offer all the services that we currently do. So this will not affect your ability to come here, give birth, and we still offer a birthing pool during these renovations. That's great, John. When will that refurbishment be finished, do you think? Hopefully, we'll be finished in May, so not long, but we'll have the first two rooms finished in March, and then we'll move on to the next phase, which will be the last two rooms. So we'll have all four rooms completed by May. Great, thank you very much. Dr. Ali, I'd just like to ask you about the um, interesting, quite exciting urology initiative that's being undertaken on Ward 3. Could you just tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, the, uh, the urology um, initiative is uh, part of Dr. Gray's playing uh, its role within the north of Scotland and helping its um, neighbouring board, NHS Highland and obviously NHS Grambian, for urgent urology patients. So this is a temporary project, um, mainly to cover urgent urology patient um, up until the end of March. And uh, because we have space on all the three, so this is why the accommodation being hosted in Ward, on Ward 3. And I'm sure you all agree that um, we need to make use of all our available resources. This changed nothing really in terms of the maternity and what plan in the future going to be for the maternity service. So don't panic. Thanks very much, uh, Dr. Ali. Um, could you could you share perhaps with women, you know, the services that they can access locally with yourself and the, yourselves and the midwives? Yeah, um, I think in terms of um, intrapartum care, that is for labouring women at the moment, and uh, obviously since the change of the service, uh, intrapartum care are available for women who have uh, low risk characteristics as identified uh, antenatally and during their labour. Uh, and for those women who are deemed to require a more specialist input, uh, they are asking to travel to Aberdeen. All the antenatal uh, care are provided uh, locally here um, for low and high risk women and a triage service for women who with a minor ailment that does not actually, um, it's not anticipated to require uh, admission to, to Aberdeen are invited here for assessment. Uh, that is as well, including the assessment um, service. Great, thank you very much, Dr. And Jill, I wonder if you could just uh, explain a little bit more about the choices that women have for birth, because I know you cover the community and the hospital. Yes, yeah. So um, throughout your pregnancy, you'll have uh, opportunities to discuss with your midwife and if you're seeing a consultant, your uh, obstetric consultant about mode of birth and about place of birth. We like to discuss this on an individual basis and give you the evidence to support your choices. 
And obviously we have the um, Birthing Grampian website that can help support um, your, the information that you receive. Thank, thank you, Jill. Um, some women obviously have to travel, as Dr. Ali was explaining, to Aberdeen um, for, for birthing and antenatal care. And what, what financial support is on offer for, for women who have to go to Aberdeen and their families? Again, uh, this is a discussion that I would encourage all women to have with their midwife. Um, early on in the pregnancy, you can discuss whether uh, you have transport, if there's issues with transport, if there's any financial support required for the transport, um, so that we have a good plan for when you go and have your baby. If you're traveling from this area and you wouldn't have been traveling uh, to Aberdeen pre the service change, then you will be entitled to travel reimbursement. And again, that can be discussed with your midwife and she will direct you as to what needs to happen next. Great, thanks, thanks, Jill. Well, one final question, really, I suppose, is can you come back to Ward 3 from Aberdeen after you've had your baby? Yes, we um, openly encourage that if women need to come back uh, or need extra support or their baby needs some extra care, that you have the opportunity to transfer back to Ward 3 so that you're in your local area and you have your local community around you. We link in uh, very frequently with our colleagues in Aberdeen and we um, negotiate and review any women that are eligible to come back to us. Great, thank you very much. I'm sure there'll be other questions that will come to us in due course and we can, uh, we can do a, a similar kind of video log again. But thank you very much for your time today. That was uh, very interesting and illuminating. Thank you. Thank you.